What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Doesn't matter what time of day or night it is, there's always work to be done. Always. And, um, in life, you have to keep trying to sometimes reinvent yourself and try different things. And it's the person that never gives up, that's usually successful. Now to me, I think I'm just a workaholic. I've got... I get nervous energy uh, the night before a game and stuff. And um, I like trying to do different things. So I'm trying something new here. For salute to service. Bam. This is the first one of these ever. This one is a key chain, a, a key holder. So you can mount it on the walls and keep your keys on it. And this is for the Dallas Cowboys salute to service. No New York Giant fans. It's not for you. It's not. It's not. I'm trying to do something a little different, something special. Special. And Philip, Philip, who uh, became a tailgate member, Mike. Um, Here's where you have to get better. You can't settle for what you're already doing. You got to learn. And currently, my system of taking care of channel members is not real good. So that's where actually I'm getting Philly D, the enemy, and his company are helping to set up a whole uh, system. So that way I know who's who as far as members and make sure that I get their shot glasses or... racks and stuff like that and birthday presents. So Philip, bam buddy, this one's going to you on Monday. Um, we have some news. It seems like the Raiders, the Raiders is the place that old players go to retire. If you're on the last leg of your NFL career, the Raiders have a place for you. It's the truth. So Deshaun Jackson, who was just cut by the Rams, guy who's had about 250 or less yards each of the last three years, been injured a lot. Well, Deshaun Jackson got a phone call from the Raiders who are now in need of a wide receiver because of Henry Ruggs. And it wouldn't surprise me if Odell Beckham gets a call next week from him. The Raiders, man, are always going after old ass players. Always. Always. So there's that. But for our Cowboys, I think that's pretty cool. I actually think that's really cool. Uh, for our Cowboys, we have some news on the jar. Blake Jarwin, unfortunately, is going on IR. Um, what does that mean? Well, he hurt his hip in the first quarter. First quarter of the game, hurt his hip. Um, I guess the good news is that he's going on short-term IR, which would be three weeks. So Blake Jarwin will be out for a minimum of three weeks. He's going on IR. Um, now Dalton Schultz is going to step into the breach and step up. I guess Jeremy Sprinkles will also uh, be having to get a little bit more work and stuff in there. And we just called up, I can't remember the other receiver's name, I mean tight end's name, but definitely um, 
we'll be bringing up some guys. Um, this season, more than any season I've ever seen, the Cowboys have absorbed injuries almost every different level and have been able to absorb them. I, I, it, it's almost mystifying me, to me. Last year, you think about our play at safety and how bad it was. And here it is, Donovan Wilson was our best safety going into the, you know, the season. And he's been hurt most of the season. You look at our wide receivers, boom, you've had Michael Gallup gone, except for the first game. You lost Lyle Collins for six games and didn't play seven games. He was a backup. You've seen us lose to Marcus Lawrence. Um, you could literally take the players that we have lost and, and just make a whole nother team. The fact that the Cowboys have averaging 453 yards, having lost Tyron Smith the la last week, um, lost Lyle Collins, lost Zach Martin for a game, um, is a, ten a, a testament to the work that Will McClay has done. I don't know how you can't look at him and say he's got to be, well, he's not technically the GM. He should be. I don't know how the Cowboys have been able to keep him without him being at least the GM, the name the GM, because he's doing all the work. That's not Jerry Jones out here scouting all these players. That is Will McClay working with the coaches to find out exactly what he needs and finding players that fit the bill that are also affordable. I still can't believe the depth that we have on the Dallas Cowboys. It's just literally unreal. So, you know, you hate to lose Blake Jarwin for three games. He was having a fantastic season, and he was on pace to have over 1,000 yards. Well, that's going to kind of kill that. Um, but for the Cowboys to be able to just kind of, you know, hey, we're, gonna, we're just going to pick up and keep on going with the next guy. That truly the next man up means something totally different now with the Dallas Cowboys than it ever has. So I'm ecstatic about where we are with the Cowboys and everything that they got going. And hope that we can continue to keep keep rolling with the same thing. So I got this one's gonna be a shot glass rack. I had to just put some more paint on on the uh, rack itself. But this one's gonna be another one that we'll give away tomorrow. Um, let me say, like Brother Roz, I forgot to say it while we were on the live stream, and all of you that are in the military that have sacrificed for this country and all of us, for me to be able to be here and doing what I'm doing, ultimately it's because of you guys. And so um, I salute and thank each and every one of you guys. And um, yeah, we're free because of you guys. So let that dry. Come back out here. I guess I can go make my chili paste. Go get the uh, food processor going. And get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. It's game day. All right. Peace.